here down here at Specialised Auto Services uh, to get the Celica tuned. Uh, so we bolted it up to the, the four wheel hub dyno, dyno back. Um, the tuning wizard Jason is faffing around with another job at the moment. So um, yeah, we're going to start getting into tuning soon. Uh, it's going to be quite interesting to compare it back to back to the old motor. Uh, we'll also have the file saved from last time I was here. Just get it warmed up. We need to do a bit of a run in for the new motor, so we'll probably um, run it in for a bit and do a, I don't know, how many Ks Jason reckons it needs uh, before we start getting into really seeing what it can do. For those that aren't aware, this is a rally car and we don't expect to make big numbers on the dyno today. Uh, the whole point of this motor is to have a very broad range of torque, excellent response, and reasonable top end. The turbo I'm using is a Borg Warner EFR 6758 and this turbo maxes out around 500 horsepower. The main interest for me today is to compare the new engine against the old one which was a, a more basic 3S GTE. I'll be running the same turbo, same injectors, same fuel and same boost to give it a fair and even comparison. Uh, to get it ready for the dyno what we've done is we'll put a big cooling fan in the front here. Uh, it's fairly self-explanatory, it's going to keep it cool, but also uh, this airline which tees into the manifold system, uh, so that will feed the, the manifold pressure into the dyno system, so we can um, monitor that without looking at the ECU, and also a knock sensor uh, which bolts onto the, um, the engine block, and then Jason will have some headphones to uh, listen to knock, make sure it's not going to ping itself to death. And obviously it's got a, an O2 in the exhaust, but he'll put an additional one in the back pipe just to verify that they match. Finished the run in, uh, so we've drained the oil, put in some Penrite racing stuff. Uh, so, what we did is we were revving it to sort of 4000, no, sort of no higher than that, just to load up the engine, get it warmed up. And Jason was playing around with the VBT, getting that all set up and going. It makes way more grunt down low than it used to with the old motor. Uh, so, we started off pretty good, and we've also drained the fuel that was in it and put in some fresh uh, pump gas, which is MPD 100. And so now we're going to do the restricted pump gas chain. So hey guys, this is Jason from Specialised Auto Services. So he's now in my passenger seat, very comfortably squeezed. Driver's seat. <laughs> Driver's seat. Um, so just run us through quickly what you're going to do. Uh, so we've already tuned the old motor and um, so this is obviously a new motor but somewhat similar. So I guess run through what you're going to do in terms of changes you're going to make and the process? Well this one's got a VBT, uh, so that'll give us a whole lot more torque. Um, it's also a big capacity, so we should see some really, really good torque and gains, for, especially for rally on gravel. Uh, it's going to be great, it allows to broaden the power curve with the whole you know, VBT, give a bit more torque down low, more power up top, should be really, really good. Uh, we'll know more very shortly, doing Sorry. restrictor, unrestrictor, uh, yeah, a bit of a pretty much using the G4 Plus to its absolute limit of what we can do. So that's the first tune all finished, that was the unrestricted pump gas tune. And that's probably the tune I'll mostly use with this car. Um, so it all went pretty well, uh, the only comment was that it was actually quite knocky so we had to pull out a wee bit of timing. 
Uh, compared to the last engine, uh, that would actually make sense because there are no oil squirters in this new engine. Uh, so I suspect that's the main reason why um, it's more knock prone. Once we turn on ethanol, that'll probably won't be a problem. We can see here the comparison on the last motor compared to this one. So same boost, same turbo, same fuel, and it's just more grunt everywhere. So let's talk there. So we've got 539 newton meters peak at what was that, 36 RPM, and then come across the power. Quite a similar curve really. Um, but yeah, just more grunt everywhere. So previously it made 320 something, now it makes oh, 398 I think. So now on 400 wheel horsepower. So yeah, pretty happy with that on, uh, on pump gas. Just finished the restricted pump fuel tune and so here we can see the red line which is the latest tune compared to um, compared to the old motor which is a multiple of those other ones and um, it just makes more grunt everywhere um, you can see this line here where the torque just basically flat lines it to the bottom that's due to the air restriction due to the restrictor and then we come across to the power here so the power peaks at about four and a half and then drops off that's just the nature of running a restrictor um, obviously for those that don't know that's part of the rally rules for doing um, proper rallies uh, for hill climbs rally sprints we don't need to run the restrictor which is why i'm doing both tunes um, but if you look at this here, not only does it make more everywhere, it makes a bit more peak. It's not a huge difference. Looks like it made 280 something beforehand and now it makes 302, which is actually very healthy uh, for a 36mm restrictor. The VVT helps quite a lot up here because you can reduce the overlap and that reduces the back pressure um, up top here. So um, that should go really well for a restricted car. Uh, so now the plan is to, now we've done both the restricted and unrestricted tunes um, for pump gas. So we're going to drain the fuel again, take all the 98 out, sorry the MPD 100, and put some of the corn, corn juice in. So now we're going to see what it can really do. Just finished the tune on the unrestricted uh, ethanol tune. So this is the one we expect the most power out of. And so we have the green line here. So that's our latest one. And that peaked at 460 odd wheel horsepower. And when we compare it to our old engine, same boost, same turbo, same fuel. And that made oh, just over 400. So we'll basically gain 50 extra horsepower just from changing the, the motor um, and you can see it's not just up top there's a very consistent increase in power over the entire rev range we come over to the torque here and this is far surpassed my expectation about how much torque it would make so we're up to 630 odd uh, newton meters which is a hell of a lot out of a four cylinder um, so this should really be a bit of an animal to drive. Um, so yeah, that's the dyno tuning session all done. Uh, big thanks to Jason 
this year was a fairly big training job for him, so thank you, and to all the rest of the guys that you see for helping out. This has actually been a very trouble-free uh, dyno session by my standards anyway, usually something's going wrong. Uh, I didn't have a single problem with the car, I didn't have a single thing to diagnose or sort out. We had a couple of issues with the dyno itself, but they were nothing major. Uh, so it all went as smoothly as could really be expected. Uh, so there's only one thing to do now and that's take it around the block and see how it goes. Just taking it around the block. It's a hell of a ride. It's fucking cool. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's that basically wraps it up. Uh, another thing to add is that is the most power the ever uh, the dyno tuning guys have ever made on that particular turbo, uh, which is pretty cool. It just shows the efficiency of of the three S beams head, uh, which is obviously from um, the proofs in the pudding that basically it far far uh, exceeds the old Gen 3, Gen 4, 3S in terms of how it flows and um, how it delivers power with the, with the VVT and the extra 200cc, 200cc's of capacity uh, definitely helps as well. Um, this thing is an absolute animal. I've driven some fast cars and I don't know if I've ever driven anything quite this violent before. Uh, obviously that super torquey 600 Newton meters combined with the close ratio gear set um, it's, it's quite a thing to drive. I don't know if it's going to make me any faster out on the stages. It might be a little bit uncontrollable. It will be fun anyway. So um, that concludes this episode of Horsepower. 
Um, thanks very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.